So I just got like finally got nerfed and people on the forums are losing their mind. The most recent changes to Ice Gauntlet was quite a bit of the damage was nerfed, especially when it comes to abil abilities or I should say passives like Ultimate Chill that gives you huge burst potential, especially if your opponent was stuck in their Ice Storm. You'd basically, the setup was a Ice Storm into shower and then you just sit there and kind of heavy attack people in the face for ridiculous amounts of damage. And thankfully it actually got changed. There was a lot of players that were basically abusing this mechanic it was actually quite easy mechanic because the root when you hit somebody with a heavy freeze it says heavy attacks with freeze will freeze a target if hit in ice storm or with frostbite for one second so basically you'd sit there and drop your ice storm and then you'd heavy attack the person in the face the person would get basically pseudo cc for one second and then you can just literally sit there and just keep on ice attack hitting them in the face and the person couldn't do anything there was very little counter for it especially for op opponents who maybe didn't have any mobility or if you're not running uh you know if you weren't running on your back bar with a repost etc or cliche you basically would get screwed and people actually thought that this was quality gameplay that this was somehow balanced for pvp and it was completely it was completely broken of course it needed to be addressed and thankfully amazon gaming studios has addressed it but of course everybody on the forums is basically losing their minds here and the ice gauntlet fire staff got nerfed and it was actually quite low tier pvp you had a lot of people that were running around with this setup thinking that they were all stars now you know realizing of course that this was a broken mechanic that needed to be addressed. CCing your opponent from ranged, you know, even on a short, you know, you know, pseudo short cooldowns, is not balanced gameplay. But of course, a lot of people are gonna lose their shit on the forums. I'm quitting this game. This game sucks. These people don't know what they're doing. You know, the, the developers must be uh, great axe players, etc. And it's just sad to see, you know, Amazon trying to do their best to create some balance and I'm thankful that they were able to do that. Of course, Fire Staff also got a little bit of a nerf to its damage and critical potential. One of the things, of course, that was nerfed was that Fireball can no longer crit. And the reason being is because Fireball basically has a huge range, right? If you're utilizing Fireball, Fireball is easy. It takes a huge, huge amount of area. It's like six meters, five meters. And it's easy to land it's not that difficult to land so to have that be critical especially upon multiple targets i can understand why they went that route now granted they did buff uh, pillar of fire but pillar of fire actually requires you to know how to aim if you can't aim that buff doesn't mean anything and so there's a bit of a, there's a little bit of risk reward there they, and they gave a huge buff it was 145 i believe in fire staff the base is going to be 134, and they buffed it all the way to 170. Now, that's not including the secondary passive that deals an additional 40%. So you have a ranged ability that deals in the area of like 250% weapon damage. And, of course, people on the forums are just like, Fire Staff is broken! I'm quitting this game! And it's just like, relax, bro, for all those people that were basically hopping onto the mage. I'm stuck here. You gotta be kidding me. I basically hopped onto the mage because it was very, very easy to play, especially if you're playing uh, Fire Staff and Rapier or Rapier and Ice Gauntlet. You have so much negating potential when you're fighting against melee that it's just ridiculous. Between you've got abilities like Burnout that deal relatively good amount of damage. When you're looking at Burnout, Burnout for a ranged slash uh, AOE slash mobility ability deals really good this deals really good damage and it has cdr depending upon how many people that you hit you've got rapier where you've got you can negate things like gravity well with your repost if you get gravity weld you just basically cliche right out of it and people on the forums are just losing their mind like oh my god we're gonna get gravity weld to death and it's like if you play a mage especially if you're playing like frost gauntlet and most people who utilize Frost Gauntlet basically crutch on Entomb, and Entomb just completely negates uh, Gravity Well altogether. I mean, you can drop an Ice Storm, go into Entomb, 
You can flee J out of it. You can repost out of it. You can literally sit here and pop over to your fire staff. And, uh, burn out right out of Gravity Well. Like people complaining about Gravity Well, Gravity Well as a mage, you have learned to play issue. I'm just that's just a fact. For a I wouldn't say class, but for a setup that has so much mobility. And most of these mobility skills deal on par damage with melee abilities that are melee and point blank or typically they're um, single target you've got a lot of abilities like like uh, what, look at the size of that thing like that is on par with a lot of melee abilities that have very similar cooldowns and so of course fire staff and ice gauntlet etc needed to be brought down a peg and of course a lot of the normies are going to lose their mind gonna lose their mind on you know on the forms a lot of them don't even utilize ice spike ice spike one of the best abilities that you could utilize for the ice staff where for the ice gauntlet with the potential burst that it has with the stagger you can burst down one opponent multiple opponents there's a lot of utility that it brings to the table more importantly it's there for burst on a very short eight second cooldown so for a lot of people to sit here and be like ice i know ice gauntlet is useless fire staff is nerfed into the ground you have a lot of people that have a lot of learn to play issues now of course this might pose an issue in pve and that's why i always say you balance the game around pvp and not pve and why you should have catered to pvp players instead of you know making this a pseudo pve pvp game because what's going to happen is the normie and the low tier individuals are going to complain that you know you nerfed the shit out of me and now we're completely used i'm gonna quit this game and it's like bro you paid 40 dollars just relax but this is basically how it is moving forward if you disagree with me feel free of course to leave it in the chat below i know there's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna dislike this one because i know there's a lot of people a lot of crybabies and on the forums talking about you nerfed me into oblivion but it was bound to come the class or should i say the play style still has huge utility uh rapier got some disgusting buffs like what were you thinking rapier already so strong and it got so many it got so many changes making it super strong pairing rapier with fire staff and pa or pairing rapier with ice gauntlet and this is what a lot of people tend to forget they just sit here and they look at things in their little uh, and their little window and their little bubble of fire staff completely nerfed. And it's like, hey, you can pair it with the super strong rapier. There's so much utility, defensive ability, mobility, burst, sustained damage, uh, damage over time within the rapier tree that whatever sort of changes that were made to fire and ice is completely negated by the buffs um, that were given to rapier. Anyway, I want to leave it here. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time. Feel free, of course, to like, comment, and subscribe.